we are going to prove that the standardized variable has zero mean and the variance equal to one. Okay, so let's first of all understand what is a standardized variable. The standardized variable we are actually having two operations. One is we are changing the origin, change of origin, and another is we are changing the scale. Okay, change of scale. So change of origin when it happened where suppose y i star this is your standardized variable and this has become uh, the change of origin is y i minus y bar y bar is your mean and this y i is your values of the y and then this is your change of origin and when change of scale this is your standard deviation so this is known as your standardized variable and we want to prove that this standardized variable is having zero mean and one as variance okay so let's see how do you prove how do you prove you uh, get your mean mean is this will be divided by n right and not only that we will take the sum of these differences between this and then we divide it by the total number of observations so y star bar okay this is the mean of y i star will be equal to let's take this standard deviation and this one upon s y one side then we are taking the sum of the difference of y i minus y bar okay and this has to be divided by the total number of observations right okay now next is you know that the sum of these differences will be some will be positive and some of the difference will be in negatives and they will cancel out each other so in the end it will become zero right this portion is becoming zero so this is also so it is multiplied uh, this first part multiplied by zero will be zero so you are having standardized variable is having zero mean is proved next Let's talk about the variance. How the variance will equal to one? Okay. So as you know, you have, you know the standard deviation square that is your variance, and this will be equal to the what is the the square of the differences and their sum divided by n minus one. This is your upper part. And this will be divided by your standard deviation square, right? So as you know, this is actually the standard deviation of S Y square. Okay, so S Y square divided by S Y square it becomes one. Okay, 